I don't know if you've seen the excitement around social media, but Hero Arts recently announced that they're going to now have a premium and a classic main kit in addition to their add-ons. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel, and in today's video, I'll be sharing all of those supplies. I'll explain a little bit more about the difference between a premium kit and a classic kit, and we're gonna make a ton of beautiful butterfly cards. So let's jump right into the beautiful butterfly card making and I'll share the new supplies and what they are and more information about the kits along the way. These are some of the items from the classic kit. There's a layering stencil with four different layers and it creates a colorful look for this die. So you can cut out those layers of beautiful colors. There's also a sentiment set and you can see in the image up in the right, the other items that are in the classic kit. For this first month, Everyone who's a current subscriber will get upgraded to the premium kit, which we'll talk about a little bit later. And the premium kit will include all of these classic kit items, plus a few more. So to use the layering stencil, there are A, B, C, and D on the stencils themselves. There's also little squares in the corners that will help you line everything up. The first layer are the base of the butterflies. So I'm gonna create a rainbow of butterflies and I'm using Distress Oxide ink today. So I have Kitsch Flamingo, Saltwater Taffy, Squeezed Lemonade, Cracked Pistachio, and Tumbled Glass, as well as Shaded Lilac. Once that's all done, you just peel off that first layer. I'm using Pixie Tape to hold the cardstock to the stencil and then the stencil and the cardstock down to my glass mat. The second layer creates some details for for those butterflies. So I'm gonna go in with the same type of color but slightly darker. So I'm using picked raspberry for my pink and then I used abandoned coral for my orange. I used mustard seed for the yellow layer and evergreen bough for the green layer, prize ribbon for the blue layer, and wilted violet for the purple layer. The nice thing about the classic kit is that it comes with an ink pad for you that has a whole rainbow of colors as well as a small blending brush. For the C stencil, there are some flowers. I use spun sugar for those. There's a moon, some stars, and some little sparkle designs, and I use the squeeze lemonade for that. So you can see it's coming together really nicely. I love how quick and easy it is to create a very multicolor image with these layering stencils. Instead of having to color things in with markers or pencils or anything else, this actually goes very quickly. So if you don't have as many colors of inks, it will be nice to get that classic kit to have the multicolor ink pad in there. Okay, for the last little bit here, I'm going to put some accents on the flowers. This is stencil D. I'm going to put some stems down with mowed lawn, and then there are a couple little dots, so I used carved pumpkin for those. Then I'm gonna hold the die in place with pixie tape, and it cuts out the center, and it cuts out the moon and stars and little sparkle designs. Now, I think that's because this classic kit comes with glitter paper, so when you cut that out, it will go right over that glitter paper and the glitter paper will shine through. So what I did was instead, I stamped the happy birthday from the sentiment set from that main classic kit and a little sparkle and a star, and I used some gold glitter embossing powder, and then I popped up the front layer, so it's kind of like a little shadow box. And what I did was, since I didn't have the glitter paper to back it with, I just filled in the moon and stars with some of the hero pearls. And then I decided to add a few as accents around the sentiment as well to really draw everything together and have it be consistent. And it also adds teeny tiny little bits of sparkle and dimension and shine. So this is a really fun way to get a multicolor image with just a few steps. So the new Hero Arts Premium Kit will have all the classic kit items, and then it'll have some extra goodies. This month there are some rub-ons, there are transfers, there are all beautiful butterflies. There's also these double dies where you get the layer that cuts out details, and then you get the outline layer as well. And they actually go with those rub-on transfers too, plus all the other items that you see in the image. As I mentioned, this month only, 
everybody who's already a subscriber will get the premium kit. For next month, if you want the premium kit, you need to subscribe to that. And I'll have links to the subscriptions down below in the YouTube description box under the video. For these rub-on transfers, they are so easy to use. You just cut out the one that you want to use, peel off the back protective layer, and then use the popsicle stick to rub and use pressure to basically transfer the rub-on onto your cardstock or whatever you're working on. So... I wasn't sure how much rubbing you would need for these. You don't need too much, but you wanna make sure that it is fully transferred before you start to peel it off. And when you peel, go slowly. So if you haven't transferred it, you can fix that. This is a beautiful image, lots of color. There's even shine to it. And you can create a one layer card with this because there's no dimension here. So that's a bonus if you are mailing your cards and you don't want to have extra bulk on them. So I am going to use four of those transfers to create a little flutter of butterflies across the diagonal of my card. And then I'm going to use that sentiment set that comes with the classic kit. And it has a sentiment that says, may your dream be your wings. So I cut my panel down to four by five and a quarter and I matted it on some black cardstock. Then there are these little sparkle designs and stars in the rub-on transfer set. You get two sheets of those rub-on transfers. So I cut a bunch of those out and I thought I would use them in the other diagonal direction. And I love how easy this was to put together. Basically, I'm just using the rub-on transfers, one stamp, and then some cardstock. Again, that's nice and light, not a lot of bulk to it, but you can really create your own design and whatever color combination you want from those transfers. So this was such a fun card to make with just those transfers and the stamp. You can also use these rub-on transfers on vellum. So I am going to use a couple of the rub-on transfers right on vellum. Just peel that off slowly like I mentioned in case you didn't get everything transferred. You can push the paper back down and then re-rub to get more pressure on there. And these look gorgeous on vellum. They're just so delicate and elegant, so pretty. The other cool thing is that those dyes which you can use to cut out metallic cardstock or a regular colorful cardstock, they also cut out these rub-ons. And I was afraid that the detailed layer would cut out too much of the transfer, but there's just a couple of little holes that were cut out. And most of it is just a detailed like embossed layer. So they really worked fine without having to cut the outside outline apart from the detailed layer. Having them together is really nice for when you want to cut out like I did the gold mirror cardstock so you don't have to line them up. I cut some glitter cardstock down to four by five and a quarter and matted it on some gray cardstock. And now I'm gonna use thin pieces of foam tape to pop up just the centers of these butterflies. So I have three of the gold mirror cardstock butterflies, three of the transfer butterflies, and each of them has a thin piece of foam tape right on the body of the butterfly. You can't see it from the front, but it will help me be able to pop the wings up off the card. I'm going to stamp and heat emboss a sentiment from that same stamp set. It says, you shine. I used some versifying ink on vellum and heat embossed it with some clear embossing powder. And now I'm just gonna use a little bit of liquid adhesive behind the letters of the sentiment. So all of these different butterfly designs you can use together separately and create a bunch of different spring and happy cards. This is the texture strip stamp set. There are several textures on the stamp set. I am going to use the print texture with some granite ink from Hero Arts, just a light gray in the center of my cardstock. And then I'm gonna use these morning glory messages and this does not have a die set, so I wanted to use this in a stamping card, and I'm going to heat emboss the morning glories on the top and the bottom in that gold glitter embossing powder from Hero Arts around that textured message in the center. Then I'm gonna use some Hero Arts cotton candy ink, and I'm 
going to rub or ink blend a circular motion in the center of the card. That's going to give me kind of a spotlight of color in the center because I'm not going to use a lot of color on this. I am going to make sure that ink is nice and dry, put some anti-static powder on there, and then I'm going to use one of the sentiments from that Morning Glory Sentiments stamp set and I actually used plain gold heat embossing on that so that it would stand out a little more from the background morning glories that have the glitter gold. I'm going to mat this on some gold mirror cardstock and call this one a day. I love how this turned out. It was super simple to do but a lot of fun. This is the Fluttering Butterflies Bold Prints. It's a 6x6 six six cling mounted rubber stamp. So I am going to use some anti-static powder tool on a 6x6 six six pink piece of cardstock and then I'm going to use some Versamark ink. I'm going to use a lot of pressure on the door of the Misty to make sure the entire stamp stamps out. And then I'm going to pour that gold glitter embossing powder on top. I just purchased this myself and I love it and I'm going to be using it all the time so I'll probably have to buy more. This will be the one embossing powder that I use up. It just looks so beautiful between the gold and then the little bit of glitter that's inside. I'm going to trim that down to a panel. Then I'm going to use the Beautiful Butterflies Bundle, which is a stamp set and matching dies, and I'm going to stamp and heat emboss with the gold glitter embossing powder one of the large butterflies. I'm doing this on white cardstock. I'm also going to use the Milkweed Bundle, and I didn't get to use the images this time, but I am going to use some of the sentiments. So for this one, I use the Hello There sentiment. Again, I am going to stamp and heat emboss that with some gold glitter embossing powder on white cardstock. So I've matched added my pink and gold butterflies on mirror gold cardstock and then I'm going to pop up the white and gold big butterfly and the white and gold sentiment so they really do stand out on that beautiful butterfly glittery background. For the next card, I'm going to use one of the other texture strip stamps, and this is more of a script stamp, and I'm going to stamp and heat emboss it with some ultra fine clear embossing powder, so you're not going to see it. I'm going to use over that the Abstract Butterfly Wing Bold Prints. This is an A2 cling mounted rubber stamp, and I'm going to use a variety of colorful inks, and I'm going to use it kind of on the diagonal the way the design is. So I'm starting with cotton candy and then I'm going to use bubble gum and I'm going to allow those to overlap a little bit so that they blend together. And next up I'm going to use one of my favorite Hero Arts inks. It's indigo and you can see again the overlapping causes some new colors to form and you can see that the resist of that script just makes this look like a mixed media card which you know is not really my thing but I had fun doing it here. I also used one of the texture stamps to create kind of like a paint swatch in the center and I stamped and heat embossed that with the silver sparkle embossing powder from Hero Arts. So I like this one as well. It's got silver embossing powder and some glitter in there and I love the way you can still see the butterfly in the background. I stamped and popped up the sentiment that says enjoy every moment and I just had so much fun creating this totally different looking card. This is the Layering Butterfly Looking Glass dies. You may have seen dies like this from Hero Arts before. You can cut out several layers with these layering dies and then layer them on top of each other for a collected look. So I cut out the first layer in a dark blue cardstock, the second layer in a yellow cardstock, and then the third layer in a white cardstock. And then I'm going to adhere them all together. Basically I started with two and a quarter by two and a quarter inch squares of cardstock and put the dies right in the center so it was the same amount of margin on all sides and that really was the perfect size for these looking glass dies. So the other thing that I had from a previous release from Hero Arts is that ornate frame that goes perfectly around the looking glass dies. I decided to put some tape runner behind this because it's already pretty popped up with the different layers and then I'm going to put a little liquid glue right around the frame and I'm going to lay that right on top and it sits right on the edge of those squares. Next I'm going to use a sentiment. I'm going to stamp it. It says hello friend at the bottom in that indigo ink and since my final layer was white and I put this on a white cardstock background I decided to use Hero Arts pearls in gold 
to add a little bit of dimension and color inside the butterfly and around the butterfly's wings. And these dies are just another way to create a really intricate looking card without doing a ton of work. Just a little bit of die cutting, a stamped sentiment, and some accents with those pearls. So really, really easy to put together, but very interesting cards that you can create with all the main kit, classic kit, premium kit, and add-ons. I loved making all these beautiful butterfly cards and dreaming about spring, but I'd love to hear what your favorite supply was this month. Let me know in the comments below. YouTube thinks you might be interested in checking out this video next. As always, I wanna thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. I feel like I need to do this again. Okay, yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm like doing this to make sure the face dragging's on. Okay, <laughs> stop.